Welcome to Your Sports Swindon. Delighted to be joined by John H. Tracy. How are you doing, John? Very well, thank you. So we're here in a hotel in Brislington. Tell us uh, a little bit about what you're doing in the, in the West Country today. Yeah, and I'm, I'm with um, Glenn Catley, who is a former WBC uh, super middleweight champion. Um, Steve Collins, who's a WBO super middleweight champion. And of course, Richie Woodall, who's a WBC uh, super middleweight champion. And I'm an ex... WBC welterweight champion, so I'm the smallest out of the four. <laughs> um, we're doing like a, a dinner and it's a, a chat, boxing obviously the theme, and uh, they're selling memorabilia for auction for charity and stuff like that. So it's 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 great to be with all the boxers tonight. Yeah, excellent. L last time I saw you, uh, it was the Horseshoe ABC Winter Show, which is actually tomorrow by, by coincidence. Oh, yeah. uh, did you enjoy yourself that night? I loved it, yeah. Well, any, anything to do with amateur boxing for me is brilliant because that's where we all come from. The very uh, the start of our careers is, is amateur boxing. And in Swindon, there's, there's been quite a deal struck between uh, Keith Mayo, you know, boxing promoter, and Paddy Fitzpatrick. They've signed a, a seven-fight deal for the next 12 months, which is Fantastic. pretty huge for the local boxers, and there's a lot of them now coming through. You, know, you must be pleased to see things like that happen. I think it's fantastic. I'm, I know Keith very well, actually, Keith Mayo. I've known him for many, many years, and he's a good promoter now. He's doing quite well. And it's nice to see the boxers, the local boxers, uh, um, you know, getting rated and, and getting up there. Hopefully, they'll win some titles. That would be great. Yeah. I'll pick one name out for you. Uh, you know, fought quite recently, Jamie Cox. Fought in Dublin, yeah. third knockout, you know, in a row. I've just spoken to Richie about him. What, what's your your thoughts on Jamie? Yeah, I think he's a good, capable boxer. I mean, it's it's the experience you've got to get now between fights and 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 the, and getting the good fights. That's the main thing. Good sparring, good fights, and um, if you can get a good promoter, uh, that's even better. And uh, if you can box, you know, mainly if you can box in your own town, city for quite some time and get the experience of that your home fans that that will always spur you on yeah, sure he, he's now chasing a, a world title from what you've seen of him do, do you think he's got that potential yeah i think he has yeah I'm, I, I don't know how many fights he's had at the moment 20, 20 and 0 now so. yeah yeah um well, he's not a lot really uh fights is you know f i mean when i boxed he had i had 46 before i boxed for the world title but because it's so different today so 20 fights yeah it's probably not bad um, but yeah, you need you got to get experience with your sparring, uh, the people you work with, and also if you can get on the good bills, the big bills, that's where you get your experience from. But I'm sure he'll he'll come through and do well, especially for uh, Swindon and and the surrounding area. Yeah. There's some talented youngsters coming through from Swindon at the moment into the pro ranks, like Ryan Martin, Danny Barge. We've also got you know, a 35 year old woman called Kelly Morgan. Um, what sort of advice would you would you give to some of the newcomers as you know that well the, yeah i mean you've got to train properly for a start you've got to look after yourself you've got to be very fit you need to have a good diet um train accordingly go to bed early do, do, do all the things that you have to do um i don't really know many of them fighters so i couldn't say anything about them but to gain the experience is just like plenty of sparring doing your road work doing your training and uh also, being around fighters is a nice thing because you pick up little tips. You know, I used to talk to a lot of fighters years ago. Even when I spoke to Mohammed Ali, I boxed on his bill in the 70s, and uh, he told me a couple of little things. So, if you can be around good good people, that that can help. Yeah. And just finally, you know, you you box in a great era. You fought Swindon's own Ricky Porter <laughs> yeah. as well. How does boxing compare now to then? Well, I I, I don't. I think the difference is now, um, most fighters now, and this is a shame really, say, I'd like to win a world title, not I'd like to win the world title. Because a world title today is IBF, WBC, WBO, uh, WBA, interim, intercontinental, all these things now, you don't really have a, a, a world champion as such. So um, that, that's a difficult part of it. It is a shame. But they, don't, they can't help that. That's just the way it's gone. Money's gone into boxing, and it's really killed the fact that... I mean, I've got friends who, who love boxing, but they don't have anything to do with it because there's too many champions. They don't know who they are. And I'd like, really, for it to go back to possibly a one champion because then you are champion. You're not, you're not anything else. You are champion. So that, that's what I'd like to see. Um, but the... Uh, boxers coming through today, 
they've just got to get on the good bills, um, get on the you know the really good bills. Maybe in America if they can, um, if they get on the good bills here, Wembley, Albert Hall, they're the places to fight at to gain experience, and uh, the, you know I'm sure they'll come through. Is there anyone in particular of this era that really excites you at the moment? Um, yeah, I, I, actually, I, I like Kel Brook. I think he's done really well. He's he's been a, a good fighter. He's, he's you know he's proved he's a, a, a good boxing champion. Um, Amir Khan's done quite good. I think he's good, but I think I'm more impressed with Anthony Joshua than anybody. Not because he's a heavyweight, but I've seen him for many many years now. You know, from the last sort of seven eight years with Finch and the Amateur Boxing Club, and they've really done a good job on him. And uh, He's not that far away now from a world title fight. He's still unbeaten. Um, and I think he excites me because he's, I was with him the other day in a show in Birmingham, and he's not frightened. You know, most fighters have a little bit of fear factor in them. Sometimes you need that. But he's not worried. He, he, he said, look, if it's going to be, it's going to be, and I'm going to give everything I possibly can. And I think that's a good mark of a boxer, and hopefully he'll become a heavyweight champion, and we'll have another heavyweight champion of the world. That'd be fantastic. Well, thank you once again for joining us. Really yeah, appreciate it. John. My pleasure. Thank you.